Hey troops, Roxy here and welcome to a Roxy Plays Games and welcome to a brand new game on a brand new computer. Yes, it's finally up and running. Um, I don't know how this currently sounds. I haven't had the chance to obviously go through all of my settings for OBS and everything. Um, but I just wanted to get a quick video, well, I say quick video out, I'm going to get a video out. It's not going to necessarily be quick. Uh, but before I get into today's video, I want to do my usual thank you. So thank you for everyone who has liked my previous videos. And thank you for everyone who has subscribed to the channel. As always, it is really, really appreciated. Um, we're getting very, very close to that 750 mark. Ladies and gentlemen, giveaway. Doing a giveaway. But you need to be subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. doesn't cost you a single penny, but it could mean that you're in with a chance to win a little prize right um pax die pax day i've heard it said both ways uh, it's coming out on the 18th of this month 18th of june i've been lucky enough fortunate enough to get a key for an event that's going on at the moment so it's only a, a week event i think maybe four or five days um, I'm back in work tomorrow, unfortunately, so I'm only going to get one day of gameplay. Uh, but that's still cool. That's still cool. I'll get to have a little dabble, see what it's like, before deciding whether I am going to pre-order. So this is kind of just a... It's nothing special. It's not a tutorial. It's just a little playthrough. Uh, see how it looks, see how it feels, see what the um, in-game play is like. And I'm doing it all on my new PC that I built yesterday um, so obviously I've spent a little bit of time testing things out and downloading things but I've still got a few things I need to sort out on it um, mainly things like my stream deck and OBS tweaks and everything but I just wanted to quickly get on so on my new PC we have got the Antec C8 Constellation case um, motherboard is the Aorus X670 Elite. Uh, I'm using the Ryzen 7 780X3D processor with an RTX 4080 Super graphics card. Uh, I've gone a little bit overboard on the uh, RAM just because it was on special offer. Uh, I've got a Vengeance DDR5 running at 50, uh, yeah, 5600 MHz and it's uh, 96 GB, all 96 GB of ramage. And I've got a Samsung 990 Pro uh, M.2 SSD, 2 terabytes, and it's the processor cooled by the Lian Li Performance Pro 360 cooler. So yeah very very happy um, took me a little bit longer than I planned to build just because I had a few little technical issues getting things put together but it is all up and running like I say I've got a few things I still need to sort out but I'm just going to create a quick quick character I mean this is all going to end up getting deleted server wipes um, prior to um, launch so I'm not going to spend too long in here. Uh, your name is not Stormy, it is Roxy. Uh, let's play. Oh, right, where are we going to go? Medium, I guess that's density of people. A little bit of Bronya. So there isn't much here, there's only literally just one server, it's in, in America. There's nothing in the UK, or in Europe I should say. But that's fine, I literally just want to jump in, have a run around, see how it looks. I think I'm going to go to this one here, Lidor. Oh, there's more. Oh. Oh, there's more. There's more areas. Did not know that. Right, so that's down there. Are they the same? Sorry, I'm just looking. No, they are they are different. Okay. Okay, okay. 
when I looked earlier, there was only... Oh, maybe I was just blind. It looked like there was only one. Uh, I'm not bothered about how many people are in the place. I'm not going to be starting up a clan or anything like that. Uh, I think this area here... Um, yeah, let's go for here. Looks like we've got some mountains. Water. <gasps> let's go! Let's go. Pax die. Early access. Well, this is early, early access. Because the early access starts on the 18th. Um, I don't think everything's been implemented in this. Uh, they may very well have turned this... Alright, alright. They may very well have turned the settings up to make it a little bit easier. Uh, but either way... Um, today is just all about having a quick look around, see what it's like. Um, Carrots. Oh, we can zoom in and out. It, oh, why can't all games do this? Um, I like that feature straight away. Uh, right, so F4. Right, F4 says settings. I have got everything turned all the way up, as you can probably imagine. Uh, and we've gone to quality rather than performance so that's good uh, n is notifications p is party and we got m for map the hell is that eyeball is that an eyeball or is that a bolt kind of looks like an eyeball but then it also looks like it could be a bolt um Right, I have not played any of this at all. No alpha or nothing. I've been looking at it. I've been watching it closely with some friends. Um, I do like the map. I do like the fact that it's not... It, they've got no fog of war or anything. Because that's just annoying, isn't it? Uh, right, we've got clan. We can find a clan. We can create one. I'm not going to be doing any of that. So we've got our skills here. So we've got a whole load of stuff, wine making, jewellery, bakery, cooking, loads and loads of stuff. Skills at the moment are all level 1. And we've also got combat skills, so you can obviously level up a particular weapon, so that's kind of neat. Uh, crafting, we can only make three things at the moment. And I can't remember what game I've played. Is it, I, I want to say Enshrouded. It might not be, but there's a ga another game that I've been playing that um, unlocks stuff as you find materials. Uh, here is our equipment and clothing slots and inventory. And then we've got eight slots down there, plus we've got um, oh, spell slots. You can have spells. Okie dokie. Didn't know, didn't know you could do that. So yeah, so what I was talking about as far as unlocking stuff, if we pick this up now, there we go. Got a whole load of new stuff that we've just unlocked. So yeah, I think, it's, is it in the shrouded? I can't remember now. There's another game anyway. Um, right, as with, this is a survival game. Um, it's got a bit of MMO features. No, we do. Just unlock some more stuff by hit, collecting some stone or Ganese rock. <laughs> How does pan out that Ganese? Ganese. Um, yeah, it's it's a survival game, but it's got MMO features as far as like you can have multiple people playing. Um, PVE, PVP. I don't know whether that's toggable or whether you're forced into it. I don't know if there's going to be PvP servers, PvE servers, PvE PvP servers, like many other games. Uh, that's something that we will have to wait and find out. Um, and the early access, there's going to be three, I want to say, starter packs um, that you can purchase. Uh, starting in the UK from £35 up to the top one which is about £90. That's not cheap. Definitely not for an early access. Um, for what you get for those prices, um, I can't even say whether it's worthwhile or not because, like I said, I don't know much about the game. I want to see if I can kill one of these. Very 
bit twitchy, I'll say that much. Oh, two punches and it's dead. Um, that's kind of different from. Um, ooh, look at all that stuff we've just unlocked. Yeah, um, bell rights. Um, they run so fast you can't do that, and it takes about 50 hits to kill them. Right, what can we craft? Oh, I've got loads of notifications there, let's clear all of them. You can't actually read them anyway. Um, right, where is the craft? There we go. Is there a hotkey for that? No. Craft. So, <coughs> we're going to want an axe. An axe for cutting down trees and fending off enemies. Uh, now here's a, a, another kind of, what's the word I want to use? Uh, interesting um, concept in this game, which I've not seen before. And that is, when you're crafting, there is a chance of failure. And I think, again, I think I've played another game that's very much like that. But you'll see there'll be a bar here when we're crafting. See this bar here, and you, you need to get past this white mark. But the if it's going to fail, you get this red bar that comes down as well. Now we got that; that's fine. Um, and each thing that you're crafting has a particular level or difficulty. So there, these ones are easy. These ones are trivial. So trivial, I guess, are just like you're going to make without any issues. Oh, see, oh, maybe not. See, look, the red bar coming down there, blue bar coming up. But we were successful. Right, so I want the axe down on number one. I want a pointy stick. Uh, that can go on number, th number three. I've got hiccups. Do my head in. And you do get XP for crafting as well. We go to our skills. We can see nothing's gone up. <laughs> All right. No. Okay. Maybe that will kind of show itself later on. I don't know. Right. Um. Let's go and chop down some trees. We want to start getting a base built. stuff. Um, yeah, we want to get a base built. What's this metal stuff? Whatever that was, I don't know. Um, and when I say a base built, it's going to be very, very basic. This game, from what I gather, you're going to need to be in a group. You're going to need to be in a clan or a party of some form because to do anything requires a lot of resources and um, doing it all on your own is going to be extremely difficult and grindy and time consuming. Right, where, where are we going to build a base? I mean, we've got, is that water there? Um, let us control, control, right click, Puts down. You can put down a marker. And control left click puts down a waypoint, and then you get this kind of like beam. You can see here pointing you in the direction to go, which is nice. So there's no like waypoint you can see in the distance or anything. There's no mini map to uh, show you where you're going. Press G, once it's disappeared, press G. Oh. G also inspects, which I didn't actually want to do. But yeah, if you press G, it brings up the beams again. Press G to uh, inspect just as I was at something then. Look at these red things over here. See these berries? Have we got some berries? Raspberries. Excellent. Gather all of them. 
this looks like something different. Nope, can't do anything with that. Okay, no, no worries. <coughs> yeah, it's running butterly smooth. Oh, it looks like someone's already built here. Nice little lake. Um, now, I've heard that one of the resources that you need is clay. Is this clay up here that I'm probably not going to be able to get to? No. Nope. It might be, I don't know. What's this here? Flint. Oh, okay, we'll grab, we'll grab this flint. Oh, reeds. Okay. I'm basically just grabbing all the resources that I can because it might unlock something or I might need it at some point for something. Um, oh, he's building a base on the water. Okay, okay. Well, that'll be enough of that gathering. Oh, I can craft on their crafting station. That's kind of handy. So these are all the different things I can make on the crafting station at the moment. Good to know, good to know. Uh, what's this? Storage. Permission. Oh, is it public? Is it public? I don't know. He <coughs> does have... Oh, it looks like he started building a base here. Interesting, interesting. What's this here? Wood chopping block. <gasps> ah, okay. Pegs. Right, so this number here is how many items. So if I craft this once, it's going to give me 50 wooden pegs. Craft this once, it's going to give me five long, rough wood stock. So that's the actual number of how many items you're going to get from a craft. It's not like one for one. That's going to give me five, five. And it shows you how many items. So for this, five sapwood is going to give me 50 wooden pegs. That's five, that's five. Ten. So ten sapwood is going to give me ten planks. Right, um... I'm looking for clay, because I know clay is a resource that we are going to um, require, but I don't actually know the best place to find it. <coughs> I will say, oh, game looks very, very good. Oh, is this clay here? Yes, we have got clay. Okay. Let's gather this clay, because we are going to need it. I don't know how the respawn works. These magic mushrooms here. A death cap. We'll grab them. Don't know if I need them or not. Um, is it a weight? I don't know if there's a weight capacity as well. I mean, looking at my um, down the bottom here, where my mouse is, when I take it off, just like a looks like a back a rucksack, rucksack, backpack, whatever you want to call it. Um, looks like it's half full. We've got some more clay here. Right, this could be a very good spot to set up base. Where are we? Uh, we're here. Okay, okay. So I'm just going to make a uh, control right click. I'm going to put a little axe there so I can remember this area. The question is, where do I... Oh, 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 run away, run away! I'm not ready to die. 
Oh my god, they're everywhere. Um, where's my pokey stick? Ha! <laughs> well, my pokey stick did the did the job there very well. Thank you very much, pokey stick. Um, took a bit of damage. Looks like my house going back up again. Right, I I quite like this area. Um, I want a little bit of open space because can I chop these big trees down? No. But I can chop these smaller ones down. Penny bun. Interesting. Right, so the question is where do I want to build? My backpack's nearly full. I'm going to need to start thinking about a place to live. Um, Berserker <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> so they've got some weird names for stuff. Uh, where are we going to build, peeps? Where are we going to build? I, mean, I, I actually don't mind building in the woods. The problem is I can't chop half the trees down. What's this line here? Might be like a border or something. Not sure. Bit weird. Um, look at that, oh, that does look pretty amazing, that is, um, that screenshot material that is, don't know if I actually took a screenshot then, because I didn't hear anything, but I don't know what my settings are doing, right, um, Hmm. Building, building, building number three. Get my hammer out. Then we need to right click. And then we got plots. We just need to claim plot. You have two unclaimed plots left. Before building houses and crafters, you. Before building houses, houses and crafters, you have to claim a, a plot. Maximum your buildable area. Maximise your buildable area by placing yours next to other plots. Okay. Right, it's not letting me build on the road. It is letting me build over here. Maybe I should just build here. I want to kind of not have too many big trees that can. That's going to stop me from building. Let's try there. Why not, eh? Hey? Um, right. Next. Right click. Crafting. We want a wood chopping board. I'm going to place you right on the border there. And we can build a kiln. I don't know what we're going to need that for, but let's build it anyway. Let's put the kiln there. And a campfire, so we can cook our food. I'm just putting everything right on the edge for now. Right, craft item, meat chunks, um, let's craft all of them, 
Oh, this has got the crafting bar on it as well. So you could fail at cooking, maybe. Meat chunks. Oh, right there, what? So these give different stats. Yeah, the stats are on the side there, okay. Oh, we've got a bit of red bar. Should be okay. So I'm guessing when we come to building um, more advanced stuff, we want to be a high level crafting. Um, right, what else can we do here? Craft items. <gasps> ah, righty. Right, I want to build. Right, let me come out of this. Uh, nope, didn't want to do that. Uh, we need a storage. Where's, where's the storage? Oh, I might need, actually, this here. What do you need? Uh, rough wood beams. Wood beams, wooden planks, wooden pegs. So we need wooden pegs. Planks and... These two here, I think, wasn't it? Right, and these are hard. Okay, hard to make. So we could fail. But no fail on that one. Good, good. Oh, that's unlocked a whole load of stuff. Impossible. <laughs> okay. Impossible. Right. Now, can I? Yes, I can. Let's plonk you there. So that's the four things I can craft. And then this is going to unlock other stuff. So we've got them three items. Basic leather working tools. Let's make one of them. Unlocks the new recipe. Doesn't tell you what it unlocks, does it? No. Required to craft a basic leather working table. Ah, right, okay. Oh, we failed. Missing items. Bone fragments of flints. Okay. Anvil stone. Required to craft. Yeah, let's. One of them. I want a storage. Where's the storage boxes? Ah, simple chest. Rough wooden planks. So we need more wooden planks. Uh, wooden plank. Thank you. And then I can make a simple chest. Oh, failed straight away. I need pegs again. It's actually quite handy having these two right next to each other. I can. Uh, craft without having to move. Let's try and make one of these again. There we go. Carpentry level 2. Right, let's go to my inventory. What have we got? So, simple chest. How do we... Put it in there. Or maybe I need to come out of this. Um, no, so it's not that way. How do we put this down? Is that it? I feel like that's not it. 
No, didn't think it was. Simple chest, how do we... Okay, I have no idea. Simple chest, a solid container. How do we put down a simple chest? <laughs> hmm. I actually have no idea. It's menu props. Ah, okay. So you have to build the prop, and then you can pl put the prop down. That's different. Very unique. Right, let me put the prop right there. Now I should be able to open it. Voila! Suet. Right, I need to. Is there a quick way of transferring everything across? items Okay, you've got the settings for people to be able to use them or not. Right, what is the purpose of eating? Because there's, there's no food bar, so is it like a buff like Valheim and Bellwright? So just right click and eat it, gives us a buff. We've got that thing in the middle. Oh, it looks like you can eat three bits of food. So it is going to be like them, I'm guessing. Anything else that's going to give us a buff? Oh, that gives us minus. Yeah, we don't want minus buffs. So, keep that. We've got two f food buffs. Oh, I've got terrible hiccups. Right, that's bad. That's good. put these away in here. Things don't seem to have a spoil timer on them. They've obviously got this timer on, but it doesn't actually say how long that timer is. But I've got three buffs. So health is now up a little bit. Cool. Um, right, what do we do with this? Burns hot, used in smelting. Okay. That's for smelting. Interesting, interesting. Put my... I'm actually going to put my food on the toolbar down there. That's handy, you put stuff on your toolbar, it takes it out of the inventory. So you can free up some spots. I like that. Um, right, anvil stone. Required to craft an the stone anvil. Where do we craft the stone anvil? Probably do a pickaxe. Where is the stone anvil? Let me take everything back out of here. Apart from the poisonous stuff. I 
Let's do herbs, poor man's wool, flint, resin, clay, wool fibre. I mean, you can probably gather I've got no <laughs> no clue what I'm doing here at all. Stool, simple stool. A small container. Where's the anvil? Where is the anvil? So we got anvil stone required to craft stone anvil. But where is the stone anvil? I do not see. Fault. You look very geared up. You must have been playing a little while. Um, yeah, I, I don't know where we make the anvil. If I could even make the anvil, of course. Um, is it in the crafting? Very well be. Stone anvil. I need more sapwood. Let's go and get some more sapwood then. Um, what do I think of this game? I don't really know. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, it's not bad by any means. It's not bad at all. Too hard. Why is it too hard? It's tiny. So what do we need to chop down these then? How could I... How could I chop down that one? But I can't, but I can't chop down these ones. I don't know. Bizarre. Um. Yeah. I'm not too sure what I think right now. I mean, it's it's decent. Don't get me wrong. Graphics are fantastic. Um, it's utterly smooth. That could just be because I've got a new PC. I don't know. It's not very intuitive on what you need to do. Well. At all. Um, right, iron bar, iron nails, iron wire, iron axe head, iron sheets, iron ingot. So we're gonna need. Right, I'm gonna need to make a pickaxe, aren't I? Stone pickaxe. Uh, we need long, rough wood. Gonna be a fail. Oh no, it's a pass. 100 crafting experience. What's my skills looking like now? Cooking, carpentry, cutting. Okay, excellent. Um, what was I gonna make? A uh, stone pickaxe. Craft. Right, so what I've gathered is even if you do fail, the progress kind of keeps. So we're on two of five. Success. Right, let me put you there. Mining, piercing. got better person than that. I'm better block. Okay. Um 
Right, what can we mine? We need to find something that we can mine then, do we? Right, well, I forgot that. Ray block on the right hand side. I don't like that. What is that all about? I don't know. We'll just press M and then come out and it went peculiar. Um Yeah, like I say, it's not very intuitive. I've got no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. But it's a kind of open world survival, isn't it? So that's what it's all about. I think the pokey stick was better for killing them. I think it probably was. Right, can't do anything with that. About this rock over here. These look more permanent. Yeah. This one? Yeah, that's a permanent rock. This looks permanent. So there's all the rocks I can beat up. My bag nearly full. I, I didn't empty my bag, did I? I'm going to empty my bag into a uh, storage. Got some more raspberries here. question is, if I eat some raspberries now, I can just press 8, can't I? Oh, you can't override what you've already got if it's nearly running out. Which is fine. Got a bit more clay here. Gather all of this. Right, so let me get rid of you, 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 um, you. Might need to build another storage. Yeah, I mean hard to say it's at the moment it's I'm, it seems very lonely because I'm playing on my own even though hello okay with his bow and arrow and his fancy armor and stuff Is this a rock that I can go and mine over here? Looks like it may very well be. Yes. Oh, that's giving us iron ore. Beautiful. Right, so that's where we get iron from. What's this here? Flax. Okay, so we've learnt another recipe. So yeah, this is very much going out finding everything you can to unlock recipes so that you can then build and craft and whatnot. What's this? Dandelion. Someone left a dandelion. Right, let's go and drop these back off. I might need to build another storage. Yeah, I definitely think when, or if I uh, actually play this, um, 
doing this. You're going to need to be part of a clan, I think. For real. Because playing this on your own is going to be a little bit difficult. Right, I want to make another storage box. What do I need? I need um, rough wooden planks and pegs. Planks and pegs. Planks and pegs. We've got pegs. And we don't have planks, but we've got sapwood. Planks. Left. That looked a bit awkward then, didn't it? <laughs> Winch. Hard to craft a water well. Okay. Interesting. Tailor's tools. Tailor. So you need to make tools to then make a bench. Got ya. It's now making a little bit more sense. Fletching workbench. Don't fail. Oh, bear plug. Right, I need more sapwood. Yeah, th this would. Th this is definitely a game you need to be um, too hard in a group. Yellow onions. Oh. No one to reply to. I didn't want to reply to anyone. I do want to cover those onions though. Right, what of these trees can I cut down? This one here. This one? Bet you can't get these ones because they're too hard. Even though they look... Oh, I can get this one. Thank you. Right, I should have enough sapwood. Did I just fail that? I didn't fail that one. I didn't fail that one. Good. I, I'm not sure if I like this whole f potentially failing. Oh, does it drop the items if you fail? So you don't actually lose the items. Oh. If that's the case, then that's not actually half as bad as I was thinking. that one again. Ah, now we've, now we've made one. Good. Yeah, if, if you're dropping the items, then that's not actually not as bad as I first thought. Uh, right, so to put the chest down, you have to go into this, then you have to go into menu, then you have to go to props, then you can plonk it down. And I like that I can do that. Thank you. So then I can come to this one and plonk in. In fact, let me. This one I'm going to. This is. Stacked in 50, okay. Um, let me take everything out. Oh, I can't, okay. So I'm going to put. 
all this like fiber and herbery type stuff in here put you there put you there bit of extra foodage um, leaves can go in there let me take this resin out put you in there and then let's go to this one yeah, there's not much storage definitely need bigger storage for sure for sure Again, this is not very... It's going to take a while to work out what I'm doing, for sure. That's 40 sapwood. Are you kidding me? Why is that? That needs to go away. That's too hard. That's too hard. That'll be too hard. I can see that's too hard. I can't understand why some of these I seem to be able to chop down and some I can't. So I guess the question is, ladies and gentlemen, is this the game? Is is this a game that I'm willing to spend 35, 40, 50, 80 pounds to play? And I think the answer, if I'm completely honest, is. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm everything just seems awkward and confusing. I don't mind confusing if I can then go right. This is what I need to do. Like, what's the why am I why am I building? That's going to take twenty minutes. Okay, we'll just leave that. I, d oh, I just really don't know. I really don't know. It's very... It just looks great. I mean, just look at that sky. The scenery. Look at that. I mean, that just looks absolutely fantastic. But is it worth it? Is it worth spending? Like, the top one's like 90 pounds is the game worth 90 quid no is it worth 35 quid I don't know I'm just I mean don't get me wrong I, I, obviously I, I'm playing on my own I've only played for a, not even an hour less than an hour Um. I'm going to leave it up to you guys and girls to decide is this game worth it or not. Uh, I'm going to have to play more to find out for myself. That's a, that's a given. But do I want to waste... I mean, this is my last day off work. I'm back into work tomorrow for four days. This event will be over. Um, do I want to spend my one day off playing this to work out what it's all about? 
or do I want to play something else? I think I'm going to make the most of it because this can be the decider on whether I want to purchase the game or not. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, for now, I'm going to leave it there. I, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. <laughs> if you've got any useful tips or tricks or any thoughts on this game, please do let me know in the comments below. Um, I was planning on getting my stream deck and all of my bits and pieces put back up but I'm going to leave that until the next uh, time I'm off so for now I'm afraid there's no little banners and little pop-ups coming up but they will be in the future either way stay safe speak to you soon and goodbye